Okay folks, this video is all about DJI Mavic Mini 2. In Amazon, it was costing 1,30,000 last week. Uh, this week I saw a price drop of 30,000 and it's costing 90, 99, somewhere around that range, 99,000. I will show you how the unboxing happens. So when the Mavic Mini 2 came by, it came in this bag. This was a box and they provided a bag with it. The quality of the bag is very nice. It has a DJI emblem, badging. Here is a front one. When I saw the first time the DJI logo, because I thought this is where you keep the contents, but actually it's not. The bag opens the other way. So we'll open it. When we open the bag, we get the first thing we get is the drone itself, the Mavic Mini 2 with a strap, it's a back strap. And this back strap is not there in Mini 1. You would have seen in other videos in YouTube as well. And the strap keeps the propeller intact. So it, it does not go messy, which is not there in Mini 1. And then you, what you see here is the sensors, is the flight sensors, and the sensors actually uh, measure the altitude. So it helps the drone to hover around and land. Quite smart thinking. And then there's a gimbal cover. And the gimbal cover has uh, 4K the lens. So this is number one, the drone. And then we have something called the controller. They gave a nice controller in a good protective sleeve. Take this out. This is a controller and it has these pods which go in. You have to just screw them in like this and it becomes a maneuvering dongle for you to control the drone. So that I will cover in my next successive videos when we do the flight test, right? And if you pull this up, this is where it fits in your phone and which acts as an interface of the controller which helps you to fly your drone properly right and these are the options where you can hover and you can take a shot of a still photo or a recording the way you would want right it's quite heavy i, I found it personally heavy uh, compared to the drone then the next thing that is there in the accessory box is something that comes in the fly combo only is called the battery hub and this is the battery hub and the battery hub comes with one battery is already included in DJI which I have taken out and it comes with other two batteries right so the battery hub gets charged and what it does is it will charge the highest charged battery first and then it goes to the lowest charged battery content is more or less over this is the manual book and here what they have given is spare parts right so there, there are spare propellers you, you try to fly your drone you might hit something and you need some spare propellers along with the spare propellers there are some screws also given you know this will come in fixing it apart from the propellers as I said there's a dongle spare dongle thing you know which has been given the reason why this nuts you know they are fitted in in a box here it can easily fall down it will not eventually but chances are it may so they have provided a spare one and this is a screwdriver to fix all those so what you see all in all I have shown you this is pretty much it and this is the fly more combo I would always advise you know all of you to buy a fly more combo you will have a flight time of 20 minutes only per battery so if you are covering up for an hour of flight time you need almost three batteries 20 20 20 do not buy only the drone if you get a fly combo you know that's the best thing to go about in the next video i will show you how it flies yeah, I will not teach you all the shots. You will have numerous tutorials on the YouTube available, but I will show you the first flight. That's all. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly do a flight test. Right, I'm taking out the latch, the cover, and here, and you can see those are free now. So this is how it should be, and this is how the drone should look. 
This is the controller I've set. I will put one of the batteries in the drone. Right, so now this is the drone. I'll open the back of it. Insert the battery. The click sound will ensure the battery is in. And then again the latch is off. After that, I will take out the gimbal cover. Now you can see the camera is exposed. The DJI Osmo camera. Right, so I'll place it carefully on the top of the table which will act as a long Yeah. Alright, now I'll switch this on. One short press, one long press to do and similarly you have to do a sh one short press and one long press. It is saying here go fly right so we will do go fly pre-flight check maximum distance maximum altitude is 15 meters right so I think we should fly now I will focus on the drone right now see how it flies there you go And I can maneuver it up and down straight from straight back right and then from and again back 